Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Diablo Immortal. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new update. I'm going to summarize the whole update as quickly as possible. I possibly can all right so this update is huge you got huge tower based uh, combat system you get the towers you get the new cursed items you get three new gems uh, we're gonna talk about all of that plus there's going to be a new dungeon I, I, I'll show you footage in another video you can go check out that there's a new set item all right, so we're going to be talking all about these really quickly so you don't have to waste time and read it yourself. All right, so first thing that breaks the game, and uh, we're going to talk about it really briefly, is that clan leaders will be able to send like 30 people. I mean, it's possible. They can send 30 people to any other clan they want, and they can control any battle. So let's say, for example, there's going to be a shadow war and uh, you have you, you want to knock out a competing clan from even participating in Rite of Exile. Well, now it's going to be easy. All you have to do is send 30 members over. So you have an alliance. You can send 10 whales from each clan, send it over and you can knock out an enemy clan from even participating in Rite of Exile. Okay, that's easy. Every clan sends 10 people to an enemy uh, to an enemy team and and all of a sudden their participation they might normally have 60 players, but all of a sudden they have a full 90 players at that Shadow War. And this this can be abused so easily. So everyone Tell, tell Diablo, tell, tell the devs that you don't want this because we want the 12-hour cooldown. We don't want this new thing. The new thing says players currently in a clan can now apply to another clan without leaving their current clan. If accepted to the new clan, they will be automatically leave the old one and join the new one. Now, this could be okay if... Once you join a new clan, you can't participate in Shadow War. You can't participate in the Falling Towers. You can't participate in Rite of Exile. There needs to be a cooldown. All right, so either change it back to you can't join a clan for 12 hours. Don't make it instantaneously. Or make it so that you can't participate in any clan-based PvP activities for a full day that's what they need to do or this is broken and it's going to it's going to upset a lot of good players all of a sudden they're facing 30 new whales from who knows where and then their clan doesn't even get to participate in right of exile okay now that's out of the way uh yeah you're going to be able to hide your helmet there is going to be a new tower mode, right? The new towers, you, you're able to bid on a tower. Then the clan will actually have for the... There's going to be seasons for these towers. Your clan's going to bid on a tower. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to kill a lot of monsters and collect chaotic shards. The clan that collects the most PvE chaotic shards at the first week of the season will claim that tower and it's pretty easy to keep that tower you don't actually have to open that tower to pvp you can keep it in pve mode so pretty much all clans will be able to hold on to at least one tower now if you're uh if you want to if you're strong enough to defend your tower what you can do is you can power up your tower the power up tower give more bonuses plus there will be a PvP uh, and the enemy clans can attack your tower to try to take it from you. So, I mean, that is a that is an option. So all clans will be able to hold at least one tower. And during the second week, if they want to, you can open up your tower to PvP. You will get more rewards, but then you will have to defend your tower. All right, so for the first week, we're going to have a shorter amount of time. Normally... It goes from Monday through Saturday uh, for the PvE of actually capturing that tower of the first week of the season. 
But for this update, you're only going to have all day uh, Friday and up to 7 p.m. on Saturday. So after this update, go to go to tower after you choose after your uh, after your guild leader chooses one. Go to that tower and start farming cursed shards. Okay. Also, you want to do this all day, a Friday and Saturday, because there's gonna be really nice cursed items, and uh, with these cursed items, there's gonna be beneficial effects and there's gonna be detrimental effects. What you want to do, it's gonna be sort of luck of the draw. What you want to do is try to get a good combination. You want to farm cursed items with the best bonuses and the worst debuffs all right you don't want debuffs that will affect your class in any way so you're gonna have to go and start collecting those cursed items uh from the pve tower event starting on friday uh 3 a.m as soon as the update's done and all the way until saturday 7 uh 7 p.m so you better do that so that your clan will be able to hold on to at least one tower if you decide that you want to open up your tower after the first week, after your clan gets a tower to PvP, you'll get more bonuses. But then you have to be ready on uh, Saturday at 9 p.m. all the way until 12 a.m. on Sunday. You want you have to defend your tower, and this is going to be an arena with uh, 10 v 10 players. And what you want to do is you want to hold on to these towers. You have to purify these towers and you have to occupy these towers. The longer you occupy the towers, the more towers you occupy, uh, the more points you get. All right. So these matches are 15 minute matches and whoever gets to 1500 points fastest will win, will keep the cursed tower. All right. Okay, let's talk about a new legendary 5-star gem. Gloomcast is a 5-star legendary gem that increases the damage that your primary attack does by 68% base damage plus 275. So, I mean, it's just, you're going to need th this if you use your primary attack. For example, like a Demon Hunter, a Necromancer, a Monk. Pretty much every single class is going to want this 5-star gem. It's going to be the next Blood Soak Jade. So I'm not joking. Gloomcast, most powerful and brand new 5-star gem that I've ever seen. Next gem, 2-star Pain Clasp. Increases damage dealt by 24% to enemies suffering from continuous damage effect. Also makes your movement speed 6% faster. Now that is actually not too bad for like... Continuous damage effect, what, like a whirlwind barb? Makes you faster plus deals more damage. 24% uh, more damage. Great for a whirlwind barb. Good for paladins with condemn. All right, let's talk about the one star gen. Low focus gaze. Increased damage done by your charge skills. I'm going to guess charge skills means dash skills by 20%. And your charging speed is increased by 32%. Uh, all right. So this is this. I don't know what this does. Charging skills means your skills that require time to charge. So either this this means dash or it means whirlwind and lasers, where it takes time to charge up. So the one star is kind of confusing because I don't know what a charge skill is. Okay. So the new set items will be. Banquet of Eyes. The Banquet of Eyes will make it so damage over time skills. Damage over time skills is going to be enhanced. All right. So, for example, uh, Lacerate. The Bleed from Lacerate. The uh, Seeping Bile. Anything that does damage over time or, or the Necro Dots. Anything that does damage over time will be enhanced. Uh, two set piece enhances the damage over time by 15%. Four set piece increases your crit chance by 2.5%, up to 25% for every damage over time effect you inflict upon nearby enemies. So this seems like extremely strong for if you're around mass amount of enemies. So if you have one dot effect on five enemies, 
then your crit rate will be 12.5%. Now, if you have two dot effects on five enemies, then that will be, what, 10 times 2.5, that's 25%. Now, if you have a six set piece, every 40 seconds, when you deal a damage over time effect on an enemy, they will be poisoned and they will take damage for three seconds. And depending on how much damage this is, this can be pretty strong. All right, to keep this video short, they actually increase the rewards for a lot of things. And they're right here. You can read it. You can pause it, read it. Uh, also, for battlegrounds, it's a lot better now. So if you're defending, normally you just have to kill 55 attackers. They made it a little bit more balanced. They raised that so defenders actually have to kill 65. And this should balance battlegrounds a little bit more. Uh, it's one thing that I don't know about. It's okay, I guess. They set it so the Shadow War is at 7.30 p.m. on uh, Thursdays and Saturdays. Now, that's during Vault. All right. So that's during Vault and Assembly. So I don't know if that's like perfect for everyone, but let me know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.